today. Uh, we'll start with uh, the four basic uh, principles that combined they make the martial arts feasible. Uh, please First thing is, you remember we see as we said, doing nothing and the opponent just falls or stops. That's what we're aiming to see if we can do it without touching. And we touch him, but without touching. That's what he does, but he's hiding it, so we don't see it. So what we need to do is see the concealed movements and see how it's done and how to implement that. First thing is when somebody attacks, somebody attacks, see what happened to his head? I didn't touch him. But this little movement just stopped him. Because I came to a proximity where he cannot respond after thinking about it. It's the automatic response, it's the reflex that's built in. And he's doing it because the body is built like that. He can't control it. Nobody can control it. You can resist as much as you want. But if you see something, you see that? You see that? It stops. So, when it stops, it's the beginning. So, let's do something. Okay? Do it again. And then, then, when he's too busy thinking about that and moving backwards, I just take him along without any effort. That's the idea. So, first try this. See if you can do just one, one little thing. You see this? I take this as if I have some water. And I just throw the water. It's not just like that, with the arm. It's a little bit of the arm, and then it stops here, and this one goes up. So it's like a sudden movement that the system here feels it. And you can't do anything about it. Okay, so just once more again. See this? So he feels that something is too fast for him to react with something that thought is involved. It's not the thought, it's the body itself that reacts. Okay? okay. Try it. Right. 